what's going on uh try this again now all right uh i see the spirit uh of people who are raised into catholicism and when they grow up they are totally against they have no faith they're totally against god they actually hate religion altogether to where they it's like because of religion they hate god uh but they still have this kind of hardcore this work ethic where you got to work 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 your way into heaven in a way uh and you basically you got to have your money for tribute and this you know this comes this is in the bible uh the same kind of mindset uh this indoctrination but you see these guys like jordan maxwell who comes out of he he confesses he's a catholic and uh that he totally doesn't believe in god totally has unbelief but he does believe in this horus is christ this mithra is christ it's all the same uh uh and apollo and all this uh ra the sun god it's all the same thing but this is theosophy. This comes from a, a, a Satanist, Blavatsky. And these guys are obviously disciples of Blavatsky. Uh, so was Hitler, was a disciple of Blavatsky. You got this Michael Tessarian. He's another one who's got this kind of like, they were raised Catholic, like their spirit was broke. And now they got a grudge against Christ when they never knew of Christ because they're... Uh, the vicar of Christ has, uh, you know, basically uh, harmed them, and now they have a grudge against the the truth of the matter. Uh, it, so I've seen this spirit around me. I've seen it in these men that do these. I mean, they got a lot of good information, other aspects, but it seems like their whole job is to try to discredit the Bible by teaching you the mystery religion that you know that's basically you can watch the movie zeitgeist and it has the first section is about that uh horus and christ are the same thing but apollo mithra the mithras and apollo apollo is mentioned in revelations 9 11 as the king or the the angel of the bottomless pit uh they had a king before them the angel of the bottomless pit apollyon the destroyer apollo so just like the the seat of Satan's seat Mount Pergamon that's where Zeus's altar was at like Zeus's Odin Saturn Satan uh Lucifer uh Jupiter Lucifer you know what I'm saying it's like look you can see that it's like see the the difference the pagans uh basically worship the creation over the creator you know what I'm saying and that's what all these, like Mithra's a sun god, Ra's a sun god. They're worshiping the sun itself in the sky. And it, it, it's mentioned in the Bible that this isn't what we're supposed to worship. Uh, Abraham, uh, because Abraham himself said the sun must be God. And he was like, no, because at night the sun went away. And then the moon came out and the stars. And he goes, well, then these must be God. But no, they didn't last forever. And he's like, well, whoever created all this is the God. You know what I'm saying? Is is God. So these guys come out and they're trying to give you this alternate uh, interpretation of all things, which that's the true interpretation of what the Catholics, where they grew up, worshipped. And it, was it a Jesuit branch of the Catholics? Look, it says if, if the Christ say he's in a cave, he is not there. Don't believe them. If they say he's out in the desert, don't believe them. Who is out in the desert in a cave that got a... Whether if this revelation come by angel or man or spirit or power, principality, whatever, believe it not. You know, you got the founder of the Jesuits went in a cave and he got a vision from an angel. He said, Mohammed did the same thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing, look, I'm seeing the real overlay now. And the thing about it is I, I wondered, I always wondered why the Indians were so anti-Christ and how they just hate the Bible. They really disdain it. And they don't really know it themselves. They don't really know they're ignorant. You know, I see so many ignorant, like, uh, natives, man. And it's sad to me that, uh, that, that it's, it's all there for you to find out and seek out now. But when your parents and your grandparents were 
putting them Catholic schools like Jordan Maxwell and Michael Tessarian that are blatantly antichrist and just really mad at God. And I know, I know why, because I've had a few people, you know, where they had, maybe their parents were raped by the freaking Catholic priests. Uh, maybe they themselves were raped. You know what I'm saying? And now I look at the Indians and I understand why they hate the God that these, that, that they were taught by, you know, in captivity in a boarding school in a freaking concentration camp. I mean, and, and look, Hitler loved the American Indian extermination policy. He loved it. He modeled the freaking concentration camps in Germany after it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's, there's, there's the answer right there. So secretly on the upper hand, they, you know, oh, we're charitable. We, we do charitable. We do good works. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we tithe. You know what I'm saying? To the vicar of Christ. And it's like, see, the, since these people grew up on the inside, they know it's a fraud. So like a person like me, I'm trying to reach out. They believe I'm like the, those people. You know what I'm saying? That, uh, that abuse their position. And that's, that's the way the devil is really, uh, what's the word, uh, evangelizing. Through these people on the on the to the people that have no idea that their child is getting raped, or some of them are in on it. It's like a form of SRA, and a person who is broken and rejected and fearful and uh, uh, all these things that comes with the territory of being taken advantage of as a child when you're innocent, innocent stolen. Uh, it's a part of their indoctrination because people are easier to control when they're already broken. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you can be their pimp and step in and you can threaten them with the hellfire and brimstone. But then also on the flip side, after they're all, you can offer them hope and salvation just for a small fee of gold and silver. You know what I'm saying? And a little bit of allegiance. You see the same spirit in the latin countries they don't they don't never talk about jesus but they're always throwing up the mary you know what i'm saying this also comes from the catholic church america the in the constitution it says we may receive the blessings of liberty that's the virgin mary that's that's the queen of heaven and it's it's a secret doctrine they teach you they teach christians that that statue is is peter but before Peter ever existed, that statue was already there and it was Zeus. It's like the black Madonna, the white Madonna. These things existed before Christ. When the Africans would come, they would pull out the black Madonna idol and be like, yeah, you're tithing to this. When the Caucasian types came into the same church, they'd pull out the white idol. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, this is your God. And then Nimrod, her husband, was green actually, but when the blacks would come to uh, to pay tithes or whatever, or pilgrimage to Mecca or whatever they were doing, they would put out the black statue, but when the white lighter skins, they would change the idol into a black one. Like you can even see there was a Templar church in England where they hooked up this little pump and little divots in the eyes of a statue of Christ, or it, it had would go like this. There was a guy in the back, uh, ventriloquisting the idol of Christ on a statue. And if a person came in and they didn't pay tithes, he'd kneel at the altar and the, and the statue would go. And then he was, oh, I, got, I better pay my tithes. But it, look, if it was a official, if it was an official from, you know, that was in on the con, the O'Connor job, it would go. And then everyone would see that he was accepted by the idol. I'm just saying there's there's full of these kind of trickery and they do it even now with their sacred religious artifacts. There's like there's like 84, uh, 84 fingers and toes of John the Baptist, supposedly that are at different churches. How could John the Baptist had 84 freaking toes and fingers? Yeah, maybe. But 
you know, it's it's just it's obviously it's it's a con. They like monkey. They, they, look, these Smithsonian uh, explorers, man. Look, they're they're known for taking monkey bones and mixing them with human bones. Look, uh, making fake Yeti scalps and Yeti hands. Uh, this is an ancient. It's an ancient hustle. And, 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 and literally, see, that's the thing. When you grow up in it, and literally, like, look, they use peer pressure rejection. You're going to be excommunicated from the church. And literally, since the Catholics really have a hardcore network around town, they can really fuck your life and make it difficult. Like, literally, they make it so you can't get a job. They can make it so you get harassed. You're disowned by your family. Because that's the same thing with the cult. When you are in a cult, and one person's like, wait a second, this guy's a fraud. He's a, he's a, this is a fraud. The family's like, how dare you speak against our prophet? You know what I'm saying? Same thing. Like, uh, out, if he's, they say he's out in the desert, believe it not. I mean, uh, the, the Mormons, they got a lot of weird beliefs like this. And, and look, it's another sect of Jesuits. There's Jesuit ties with Mormonism, with, uh, seven days adventist with jehovah's witness it's all they're all spin-offs man of it's it's like it's they're they're spin-offs and people use they they cherry pick it in such a way to profit that's why it says it's like watch out they'll make merchandise of you they'll desire they'll de uh, uh, devour the houses of widows stuff like that these are people who are getting money from people. So, look, if I speak to you or whatever and say what whatever I say to you and I don't ask for nothing, how can I devour your household? Or if I'm not trying to be your leader, how am I trying to take anything away if all I'm trying to do is speak on it, speak to you, that's it. You can take it or leave it. But these, these guys try to coerce. There's coercion tactics. And once again, it's to create... It's to foster unforgiveness, resentment, bitterness, wrath. Uh, so, and it's working. And it has worked because, look, not so many people are ignorant of how this works. I understand why there's so much hostility towards the white man's God, as, as the Indians used to call it. Because it was, it was the Catholics that were the ones that were trying to convert them. And they... They're known for going to all kinds of countries, dude, and literally like brainwashing, starting their own Jim Jones type camps. Uh, and this isn't very long ago. This is a hundred years ago. So I mean, look, if it was corrupt, then is it gonna be? It, how can it look? And they've never made reparations. That.